Okay, so you're out filming all day with your drone and you're getting in those banger shots. You get home all excited to watch these clips back. Then suddenly you notice this. And this, and this, and this. You now realize you've got yourself in the shot or maybe somebody else has walked into the shot or maybe it's a sunny day and the drone is casting a shadow down onto the ground and that's come into frame. And these are some of the frustrations I have when I come to edit my drone footage. And thanks to Adobe, those frustrations are no more. So with Adobe's new content aware fill tool, you can remove any unwanted object from your footage in a matter of minutes. And I'm going to show you how to remove it from your footage just like this. Okay, so here's the footage where we're going to remove the object in Adobe After Effects. Uh, as you can see here, we're going to take away the lighthouse from the island. So we're going to head over to the pen tool to draw the mask around the lighthouse. Now the line doesn't have to be neat as long as you get all of the lighthouse within the mask. And just close the mask off there. Now we need to go down to the video layer and open up the properties to the mask and change the blending mode to subtract. This will then turn the lighthouse into a black patch. Now we're going to go over to the tracker and what we're going to do is track this mask within the sequence. And we're just going to click on the play button and quickly watch this go through frame by frame the mask being tracked. Okay, now that's finished. As you can see, it's tracked it beautifully. As the drone is rotating, you can see that the mask is tracked that pretty well. Now we're gonna go down to the Content Aware Fill tab. We need to make sure the fill method is set to Object and the range needs to be set to the entire duration. And then click on Generate Fill Layer. And that's it, we've got to just sit back and watch After Effects do its magic. And as you can see, it is just analyzing and rendering the footage. Okay, let's quickly render that. And there you have it. Object completely vanished, you'd never know it was there. So that's it, it's a few easy steps, nothing over complicated, but with a big impact. It's a very simple and effective tool. I wish I had this years ago. With all the frustrations I've had with people walking into the shot or I'm in the shot myself, or th there's something in that shot that I didn't want there, like a building, for example. So if you like the tutorial and you learned something, please like and subscribe, there's plenty more to come, and I'll catch you guys next time.